So in today's video, I wanted to look at how to find and how to connect to the OBD port. Since 2001, all petrol cars have had to have an onboard computer, and since 2004, diesels have too. One of the requirements for the port is that it must be reachable from the driver's position. In a lot of vehicles, you'll find the port accessible just by putting your hand underneath the dashboard or somewhere around that sort of region. So in the Giuliettas, it is still accessible from the driver's position, but in actual fact, it's hidden away. And what we can find is that it's actually behind this panel here. All you need to do to access it is just basically pry it away slightly, pull it down, and you'll find that it will just come away like that. On the inside, you can just find these kind of clips here that you can see, kind of little lugs, just one, two, three. At the bottom, you've got these kind of clips that just kind of go over these two brackets here and here. Once you've removed that, you can actually then see the port right there. So it comes just with a cover on. It's just got a little clip and you can just pull that away and that exposes exactly where you need to connect to. There's loads of different diagnostic tools available on the market. Uh, little handheld ones that can just plug in, Bluetooth ones so you can download an app on your phone and stuff like that. Uh, the one that I've gone for is actually one that you put onto your laptop. For this configuration, there's three primary things that you need. One, obviously the laptop. Two, is the lead to connect to the port. And the other end, the USB that goes into the laptop down here. And then for this particular software that I'm using, there is a free version of it, but you can also get a licensed version that allows you to do all the things that you really need to do and want to do. So for connecting the laptop to the car, what we're gonna start with is just basically having the adapter ready, which we're just gonna plug in to the port on the car. It only goes up one way. There's a small kind of lug at the top that's kind of uh, just got a little lip on it, so it only go in one way. And then the other end, we've just got a USB connection. So I'm just gonna plug that into the laptop. I'm then going to open up the software that I've got. So with this particular software, you can also see that we've got a selection of different manufacturers that we can connect to. And once you select one of those particular manufacturers, you get the different vehicles in each of those uh, ranges, should we say. So we know that we've got an Alfa Romeo, so we're going to go on Alfa Romeo. And we've got the Giulietta 2 litre JTDM. The next thing we're going to need to do is hit connect, but before we can do that, we just need our ignition on. So I'm just going to put the key in the ignition and just turn it to position two. I'm now going to hit connect and just follow the instructions on the software. At the moment, it says connecting to the ECU. Please wait. And from this information screen, we can see some very high level information about the car, just clarifications around what it is, the ECU type, drawing numbers, software versions, and so on, stuff like that. The next tab along at the top is the errors, for error codes. So we've got no fault codes, which is really good. I'm really pleased with that, really happy by that, to be fair. Um, it's the first time I've actually connected it to the laptop, so I wasn't it wasn't sure what we was going to get, whether we were going to get a load of error codes in there, but the fact that we've got none is really good. In the next tab along, you can select various different options and you can, it will give you the live information about what's going on with that. We can see some of the data coming in live as well. I've just selected a couple of options, gas pedal position and brake pedal status, because we're right here. If I press the throttle, just over here to my right, you can see that I've just got that down 10% or so, 8, 29, 30, 40, all the way down to 100% now, and then back off. And then the brake pedal is well released. As soon as I touch that, we can just see that it changes the breast. So with this particular software, what I'm now gonna do is just hit disconnect. That stops our live session. We can then turn the key off as well. Take that out. And now it's safe just to remove the plug from the car and we're not gonna disrupt any information. So that's it for today. Just another quick, simple, how to find that port and how to connect to it. Obviously, if you've got a different programming tool, you know, you may not have the laptop with that software, the licensed version or whatever it might be. You might just have a handheld one or a Bluetooth dongled one, but basically that's where it is and that's where you'll need to connect to it. So for now, hopefully that's been useful. If you've enjoyed it, give us a like down below. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe coming up here now. Like I always say, you know, more subscribers means more videos. So thanks very much for watching. Appreciate your time and see you in the next one. Cheers.